Right, first of all, just want to say sorry for the long absence. Have been in Greece cracking out some DS work for um, my team. I'll leave the link below. Uh, but yeah, I had a decent day out, did tour of roads and some other 2.2s and 1.2s, which was good fun. Um, I'm starting racing next weekend and we'll have some more content. But anyway, I thought I'll crack this out. It began today. I thought I'd be able to get footage, but alas, no footage to be had. So, but I reckon this is one of the hardest stage races in all of history. Um, one of my friends, Max Stemmen, he did it last year and his TSS and like was ridiculous every day and his fatigue was crazy by the end of it. And we're going to go through like the first stage was per kilo, obviously, classic Charlie video, but also like just the general gist of the stage. So you can see here, this is the first stage, just up and down all day. It's pretty 2.1, but a lot of World Tour teams go. We'll go into the starless in a minute. Then you've got like laps of here, um, pretty grim. Um, again, more laps of climbs with gravel, like not super long, so people are aggressive. This is like a 12K, 3% thing, and like just more up and down, a lot of laps again, you can see at the end, followed by a team time trial. It normally starts with a team time trial, so a slight difference. You look at the start list, it's always pretty stacked. Last year, Vanderpol was here, but Ineos, Astana, Borat, EF, Jumbo, Sudal, Quickstep, Jayco, Trek. For a 2.1, pretty rude. Italian team's always going well. Um, so yeah, generally pretty rough race and one of those ones where it's just like grim. If we actually look at previous winners of it, um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, old What's-His-Face, uh, Jonas Vingegaard's won it, Eddie Dunbar, Narvaez, Hamilton, Diego Rosa. Like this is some decent person. Bidersonov, he was good. Like there's always big winners. Ineos often like this race. Anyway, we'll go over to James Knox's power file who was in the front group today. And it is pretty grim. Now, he's a small boy. I would predict 58 kilos. 285 normalized for four and a half hours is not pleasant. Um, you know, we're talking about five watts per kilo normalized four and a half hours. But you can see, like, in heart rate wise, like, it's pretty high all day. Like, okay, we've got this bit here where it's like 140. But from then on, it's 170 beats a minute for, like, the whole of it. And I don't think his max, obviously his max is decent, but it's not, like, going to be 200. Like, you can see normalize here 303 for three hours like that is grim you kind of look at each climb um like this section here he's doing like 4.4 like okay that's all right but they got the same climb again it starts to be like 5.8 which for like 10 minutes is decent whack again here not pleasant 5.4 like it's just on all day um and it's always pretty um pretty selective race but you can just see like even this last bit here he's like really struggling, 290 normalized, heart rate super high, like you can see on this downhill, um, this little berg here again, it's like dead turn into it um, at the bottom on the left-hand corner, pretty rough, um, again, seven half watts per kilo for three minutes, 20, like that's, that's pretty rough, um, and then even this part here, it's like it's up and it's down, it's still 5.4 for 12 minutes, 6.6 .6 for five, like, do you see what I mean? There's not like one standout nuclear power, I mean, that is a pretty big uh, three minutes, but you can just see it's hard all day. If we actually look at the results today, uh, it was Remy Cavagna who managed to uh, get the W. And you can see like it was a pretty decently select group. Only 37 people in finishing the front group. So pretty hard for like the first day of a stage race. You can see all the guys here like Potts Vivo, James Shaw, Leo Hater, Knox, Tets Batsion. Like it is pretty tough stage race. Um, so yeah, definitely... Hopefully there'll be some content uh, that I can create on it because we'll get some some videos uh, later on this week. But for sure, it's one of the hardest stage races around. And to top it all off, these guys will then do a one day called GP Industria Atiginato uh, the day after. So yeah, pretty rough day out for the boys. Um, but anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll be back on the grind. Um, it's been a bit soft for me in March. But anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy I'll see you in the next one.